Hey did everyone, it's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. I'm back with another review, a game called Hopico, which was developed by LaserDog and published by Merge. Let's get straight into this one and see if it's worth your hard earned cash. All right then, so the story here is about a virus called a nanobite, which has infected all gaming consoles and gaming is over. It's up to you to save gaming forever. Now gameplay here is fast, and I mean I completed five stages in about 10 seconds. Check this out. All right, all right, you got me. I sped it up times two. I'd actually done it in about 13 seconds, 55. But you get my point, it's a quick game with brutal Twitch-based gameplay, which will use every ounce of muscle memory. I personally love games like this because I've always enjoyed a game with quick reactions. This is a platformer where your character is in a fixed position. You aim and release to the next platform. Hell, sometimes you don't even need to aim, just fire your little man at breakneck speeds to one platform to the next until you destroy the virus within the stage. The goal is quite simple, get from one part of the level to the other as quickly as possible without dying. Simply point where you want your little guy to jump by aiming the analog stick in a direction and release to make it to your next destination and jump again. Miss your target and it's death, it's you versus the levels, there's no real enemies here to face, more like enemies to avoid, like those nasty bites out to stop you getting where you need to go. Now there are lots of clever little touches which makes levels increasingly more challenging the further you get. Avoiding lasers, traps and all sorts of moving contraptions where physics is the name of the game. Aim your little man on the edge of a ledge and spin it round so that it disturbs a laser aimed at you before jumping into a cannon and quickly firing at breakneck speed out of the cannon to bust into the virus before closing of the nanobite trap ends you. You will fail and you'll fail multiple times, but as you get better, there's nothing more satisfying than moving through levels at pace I don't think I've seen in my gaming life. It's so simple yet feels so satisfying. The controls, for the most part, are pretty tight, but you will get caught out sometimes with the release of the analog stick at the wrong time if you choose to use physical controls. The bonus in handheld mode is having the option for touchscreen controls, and if you happen to have an error of judgment and fly into a wall or a trap, then death ensues, and you start the mini five stage run again from the beginning. Sounds bad, but it's not really a big deal, such as the rapid nature of getting through these stages. I mean, some stages take under a second to complete, so five stages is around 10 or 30 seconds in some cases. Now, once the five stages are complete, you get an overall time, whether you did each stage quick enough to obtain a star, and whether you were able to take a quick diversion for the added challenge to pick up that floating little Game Boy console littered around each world. If you collect, you'll unlock a new chip tune, which is fantastic within each level you're able to obtain five stars for each mini stage within. Now you'll be able to zoom through them quicker once you know their shortcuts and pitfalls and it feels really awesome the better you get and as you start to get a rhythm you can really plow through these levels. The game is a challenge and it rewards players that keep trying and don't give up. This is the ultimate one more go game. This is a little hardcore, but in an age where games reward you for pretty much anything, this is a refreshing take from the developer and I appreciated it. It made me work to unlock speedrun mode, new chip tunes and bonus levels and I mean really work damn it, but in a fun way. My biggest disappointment here is the lack of online leaderboards to compare with friends and the world. In terms of audio, this is a soundtrack done right. The chip tunes are varied, there's 15 tracks to unlock and I enjoyed listening to them while playing. The tracks are not shy in letting you know that you're in for a fast paced game here. Visually, more simple than you're ever going to get really, but this game is not here to show how good its visuals are. The levels are of, you know, use a minimal palette, a few colours on each. Each world has its own set of colours from your yellows to blacks, red to black, so on and so forth. Gets the job done. All about the gameplay and in that, it excels. In terms of value, the game is £6.29 at this moment in time with a 30% discount if you're quick enough to pre-order. Otherwise, the game is going up 
to 8.99. Now on mobile platforms, you can get this much cheaper for between £1.50 and £2. And even on Xbox, it's currently at £5.59. PlayStation currently has a sale on and it's about a pound. Now the benefit here though is that you can play both with physical controls and touch controls. So that is a boon. This version doesn't give you any more over the other versions out there, um, especially on console. So just bear that in mind. I feel that it could have been slightly cheaper. In summary, I've never heard of Hopico until now, but I'm glad I took the time to play this because I love this little game. It gave me so much joy because it's just so pure in what it offers. Buy it on Switch if you have to, but if you're not bothered about where you play, just get it anyway because it's just a frantic, frenetic little game that will have you addicted as soon as you pick up and play that very first stage. It's a shame there's no online leaderboards, but it's still a game I highly recommend for casuals and hardcore gamers alike. Speedrunners will love this also. What are you waiting for? It's Tyler to Hopico. A 7.5 then out of 10 from me. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, then why not check out one of our reviews coming up now on the screen. And if you're a new watcher, then just hit that circle and subscribe to our channel for future reviews like this one. We like to keep you up to date with the games that are hitting that Nintendo eShop, whether they're AAA or indie. We love to play them all. Thank you as always for watching. We really appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Take care.